I went out for dumplings, and I promised myself I wasn't going to think about this class for sort of half an hour, you know? Uh, my little holiday. And I had my dumplings, and then the check came, and I got my fortune cookie, and this is what it said. <laughs> it said, you are a person of culture. And I thought, you know, <laughs> I hate to be a professor about this. But isn't, this is sort of Aunt C41 in a nutshell, right? On the one hand, we are just persons, hey? Homo sapiens, we're animals. We're organisms who inhabit ecosystems. We have relationships with the other organisms in that ecosystem, with that environment. And those interactions are all knowable. They're quantifiable, they're understandable, right? And we're subject to all the same laws that every other organism in an ecosystem is. And that approach has been super enlightening. It's helped us to understand so much about how people work. On the other hand, we are persons uh, of culture, which makes humans so tricky, so messy, so elusive, right? We are fundamentally irrational in a lot of ways. Remember we spoke about optimal foraging theory? Organisms try to recruit the resources that are cheapest for them, right? That you're always running a cost-benefit analysis in your head, you want to go get the food that costs you the least amount of energy and returns the most amount of energy when you eat it. That makes plenty of sense for ants <laughs> and birds and stuff, but people are just trickier than that, aren't they? We have favorites. We like the color of some food more than other food. We don't eat that kind of food because it reminds us of the last person we dated and we had a bad breakup, right? <laughs> oh, I can't drink that anymore. I got really sick on it once and now it reminds me of that night after prom or something, you know. <laughs> We're persons of culture, which makes us so difficult to deal with, right? So the idea that we're animals takes us so far, and the idea that we're cultural also takes us so far, and between them this is what makes a human being so interesting. Tricky, but interesting. The harder that you look at human beings, at anthropological, ecological phenomena like we do in this class, the harder it gets to separate uh, genes and environment or biology and culture or nature and nurture. At some point, you know, you can take either of those down very interesting avenues as a lot of you did on your essays, right? But at some point you arrive at the conclusion that these two things are inseparable for humans at least.